Hi, my name is Clinton Jones, and this is my audition tape for the next Lion King remake, uh, whenever that may be. <laughs> oh, I don't have a lot of hope for this video. So as a lot of you guys know, I am very passionate about being a physical actor. It's very fun for me, it's very exciting. I played ShopBot in Video Game High School, I played the robot in the Boston Dynamics videos. I love moving and being goofy and silly and whatnot. Now, it, it, it pains me to not see physical actors anymore in Hollywood. You know, Jim Carrey, I haven't seen Jim Carrey in, in something in a minute. Jackie Chan, where have you been? Charlie Chaplin, it's been too long. <sighs> but here's one thing I've noticed. I think the most physical actors right now are doing motion capture work. And, and honestly, I cannot compete with the big players out in Hollywood right now. Andy Serkis, you know, you saw him in Planet of the Apes perfectly take on the likeness of a chimp. Mm -hmm. Benedict Cumberbatch as Schmaug Smag. <laughs> He was a perfect dragon. He, you saw him on the floor, he was getting into it, right? I don't know how they translated the motion to the dragon, but it was cool, it was cool. There's a pattern, there's a very specific pattern here, and I think it is animals. I need to do some animals to really diversify my motion capture reel, my physical acting reel. I saw the new Lion King trailer and was blown away at how good those animals look. It's the gold standard for CG animals right now. They look too real, it's crazy. If I can slap on a motion capture suit and recreate my own versions of Simba, Rafiki, even if I were to get close to the look and feel and the essence of those animals, that might just take my motion capture reel to the next level. Not only would I become the Lion King, but I would be the motion capture king. Watch out, Andy. I'm coming for you. We're doing a Lion King video. We got to do some fan service here. Let's do some scenes that are like really recognizable and give you a good opportunity for mocap. The Pride Rock holding up little Simba scene is okay. super iconic. We should definitely start with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just without even listening to this, yeah. sing the beginning of the circle of life. I don't have a lot of hope for this video. I was close. Hakuna Matata. Do you, do you think just simply doing some prancing? You have to do the head swing, and the little guy in the front just goes like, this scene will then showcase the diversity of animals that Clint is able to portray because we have a meerkat, a warthog, and a lion. I got the third scene, here we go. I wanna watch the third scene. Here's the third scene. I'm just looking for a tear. Here's the thing, we're not doing facial motion capture, Clint. I haven't picked out the models yet. I know Clint's, he wants to do something really dramatic. I, I just want to make sure, like, we, we taper our expectations here because, once again, the motion capture suit doesn't do facial motion capture. So if Clint picks a scene that's way too intense, like, it might not carry through, but I, I, I don't want to stop him. You gotta do your homework. You have to study these animals, guys. Benedict Cumberbatch, based on his performance, I'd say he put in at least 24 to 48 hours of dragon research. Half of that was Skyrim, the other half was probably Reign of Fire. So it was, it was a good mix. <laughs> I gotta put in the same work, guys. I have to put in the same time. I have to study all of these animals. I need to study their limitations, their quirks. All these things go together to bringing the animal to life. All right, male lion, Africa, HD. 30 seconds, that's all I need. I studied under Eric Morris, who has been teaching acting for more than half a century. He would host these jamborees like acting camp. The last one I did was animals. You embody an animal, you watch an animal, you take on its characteristics, you become the animal. So that you're able to incorporate some of those animalistic traits into your performance. Before you go subtle, you gotta go 100%. You gotta go all in. You know, you had 12 to 15 actors in a room all just portraying animals and working on animals and it looked like a loony bin. So I'm gonna work on a few different animals for the next hour here. By the time I go back into that studio and I put on that suit, I will not be coming in as Clint. I will be coming in as Simba, as Timon, Pumbaa, Rafiki, and we'll knock it out of the park. That's not, like Clint, he's hopping around like an animal. He thinks he's an animal, but he's not an animal. Okay, this is where all this fantasy and imagination and all this stuff meets reality. It all comes down now to actually making him an animal. Okay, so how the hell do you do that? Like, what the hell does that even mean? But seriously, think about that. A person acting like a tiger and then making them a tiger using that actual performance. What, is this supposed to be your paw? The proportions of a tiger are totally different. What am I gonna do with the motion capture data of a human? This is the thing that people don't think about. They think it's easy. They think, all right, just because I've acted like a dragon, you just drag and drop 
dragon onto their body, I have to take Clint's motion capture data and his performance and somehow put that on an animal's body. How the hell do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There is a lot of pressure. I feel, I feel it. He might be giving us the best animal performance anyone has ever seen. But if I can't realize that dream and realize what he's doing in, into a visual form, then all that talent goes to waste. My grass is relaxing. What's up, dudes? Oh, jeez, dude. You guys are probably wondering why I don't have clothes on. I'm, I'm, that's, the, that's the second thing I'm wondering. And that's because today's sponsor is privacy.com. Now, with privacy.com, my online purchasing is so secure, I no longer need privacy in real life. It's not for me. This is gonna be like a thing. It's gonna just be like a normal. It's not a thing, Clinton. It's a way of life. It's the same thing as privacy.com. You see, with all the online purchases you make, that online retailer now has your credit card information. And if they get hacked, you get hacked. With privacy.com, it uses military grade encryption and then uses virtual cards with dummy numbers to ensure that your real card information is never shared. This site itself doesn't actually have your number. Only you will. Isn't that the way it should be? Uh, when you're done, Jake, can you throw that chair away? <laughs> this is Clint's chair. No, Jake! Privacy.com also works on Chrome extensions. It's really, really easy. That is nice. I could, I could do something like that in my life. I just wanted to say, all you have to do, Clint, yes. is go to privacy.com mm -hmm. slash corridor crew. Privacy.com slash corridor crew. Mm -hmm. And if you use that link to sign up, you'll get an extra five bucks for free to spend on whatever you want. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate it. Dude! <laughs> are we putting too much on him? I think all these brands are getting, getting to his mind. I'm gonna be ready to go here. What's the first scene? This is totally gonna look so janky. I, I, I don't know. I'm just so worried about, about this. So, I am so excited for this. Benedict Cumbers, Andy Serkis, Clinton Jones. He's, I, he's as good as them. I just, I don't know if I'm as good as the other VFX artists. This is gonna look so good, dude. But you can't swap out a team of 200 visual effects artists for Sam. But Sam would be the last person to say, I don't know about this. Oh no, uh, we're just doing Janky Lion King. <laughs> Naturally, as an actor, I'd like to work up to the dramatic scene, you know, so I can, you know, just warm up as I go. Like Clint's all ready. I think we're ready to do this motion capture. Are you guys doing the audition right now? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna come over and bless the child and take it from you and then hold it at the edge of the cliff, which is probably the white tape. That's the edge of the cliff, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna record this. Clint, you have one take. Give it your all. I'm ready. Capturing, sync, clap, Clint. Very good acting. <laughs> All right, first one. Nice job, dude. Thanks. Out the door. Let's turn, turn you back into a lion cub. I knew, I knew this scene was coming. I knew this scene was coming. All right, there you go. Stop Stop it. You have to call him Simba. He's kind of in character. This is gonna be great. All right, Simba, just uh, don't bite me or anything. <laughs> See, what you do is you pretend your dad has passed and you're standing over his casket and you're gonna tell him all the things you wish you would have done with him when he was alive, but it's too late now. It's too late now. I don't know, I think this is gonna make or break it. Capping, clapping. And action. Dad, get up, come on, let's go home. Dad, come on. Dad, somebody, anybody, help, help. Let's do one more. One more? One more. Clint, I need you to turn your acting knob up to uh, like 11. Okay. Bad shit. Don't use. All right. Take a breather. Clint, you have one more chance. The idea is that you embody an animal, you take on its characteristics, you become the animal. You gotta go 100%. You gotta go all this. One more chance here. Yeah, yeah. You're a <laughs> Dad? 
Dad, come on. Let's go home. Dad, let's go. Somebody help! Anybody! Anybody? Dude, dude, that was the one, dude. Dude, that's a wrap on scene two. Scene two, baby. You did it, that was awesome. All right, sweet. Let's go. Now, if you guys have ever had an out-of-body experience, that's just but a fraction of what this feels like. I had finally done it transcended my human form. Just a, a mere flash of time. I was Simba, king of the animals. Dude, that's a wrap. That's a wrap? On good The Lion work. King 3. That's a good audition tape if I've ever seen one. I appreciate it. I'm glad to add that to the reel. We're counting on Sam here to bring this thing to life as far as the visuals go, and I'm very excited. Very excited to see the final result. I'm ready to make these lion manes. If we're going to get Clint into the third remake of The Lion King, we need to show them like a nice vision of the final product here. So I decided I'm gonna help the guys out with some hair simulations. That means I've had to learn how to do hair uh, this afternoon. When you do hair in programs, it basically creates little lines. And these lines are kind of like your guide hairs. And then when you render it, it fills in all the hairs in between that. So you're only working with a manageable number of things. And then I'm figuring out how to do all the physics and stuff. So when it moves, the hair bounces and moves and collides with things and then making it look pretty. I think I'm close enough for, for this project. So I learned how to do hair. Hair also works great for grass. I'm making pride rock. I have hair. For the grass and I applied a little bit of turbulence so all waves in the wind so you know it's your basic fried rock really really basic but you know what happens when you apply displacement textures to it oh it looks so good it starts to look really good this object here the actual like fried rock thing that sticks out my model is super basic but when you apply a texture that has displacement textures it adds all this extra texture to it you can turn it up to two look really crazy. You see all these rocks just jutting out. It's adding more detail and more polygonal detail to your surface. Like it's actually changing the shape of the model and it makes it look like you spend a lot of time actually modeling rocks. I'm pretty happy with it. Nico just said the motion capture looks pretty good and I have to agree the motion capture suit performed very well and also the actor wearing the suit performed very well. Yeah, I did my best. I'm trying to figure out the best way to translate his motions onto these animals. There's a couple methods, and this is method one. This is the mascot method. Oh, does this look like an animal? <laughs> <laughs> that jungus. <laughs> so here's the other method. Instead of using Clint's actual bones, we're retargeting Clint's performance onto the proportions of a baboon. But hold on. It doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty good. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I think the consensus is this is the better version. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a step in the right direction. It, it, it is janky. It is, it is very janky. I hope I'm not like ruining your performance. And trust me, it's gonna look so much better when you've got like long flowing hair all over your body. <laughs> okay, I hope so. I know I am just destroying them, but these are some incredibly high quality models from TurboSquid.com. You should obviously check them out. So huge thanks to them. There's a core problem within all this, which is that like I don't know how to do like rigging. It looks like a lion that just crawled out of a vat of acid. <laughs> like it's over. Oh, frick. I don't know how to do it. I'm doing tutorials as fast as I can here. We only have like a day or two to work on this and I have to move on to some other projects after this. This is stressing me out because I actually am trying to make this good. I'm gonna make it work. I'll make it work for Clint. Figured it out? Well, I didn't fully, once again, it's not, I'm using a process. Nice! Dude! Dude, Nico. That looks pretty good. You're running around. Each one requires a completely new method of like rigging it. Basically, I need to rig these animals as if they were humans. The challenge is though, is that their proportions, well, they're, they're not human. And if I make them human proportions, it's not gonna look like an animal, it'll look like a man wearing a suit or a furry. Each model is not in a human pose. Basically, I need to get these animals into a T-pose. Standing on its two feet with its arms out like this, I'm using soft selection tools to just gently remodel the animals as basically Christ-like figures. <laughs> Those are the true challenges here. You're gonna need a wall here, man, because I can't help but look over and see what you got going on. I'm going to get the most natural, visceral reaction you've ever had, and we're gonna get it on camera. <laughs> Maybe, maybe to make it work more better, I'll just put it over on my side. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's fine, you can see my reactions. 
<laughs> Dude, Dean, look at this. That's Clint. He's gonna have like a staff. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Was the performance good? Acting's on point, man. Okay. Because I can't see anything because you put up that tarp. AJ, I want to show you something that we worked really hard on. That's this is what you've been doing all week? See this flag here? I worked so hard on this that I've literally put a black flag here so Clint cannot glance at my monitors until now. Ooh, I present to you your motion capture acting reel. I just want to say this is like Christmas came early this year, so thank you, Sam. I really appreciate no it. Problem. I'm really excited Ready? for you, Clint. Hi, my name is Clinton Jones, and this is my audition. Hi, my name is Clinton Jones, and this is my audition <laughs> tape for the next Lion King remake, uh, whenever that may be. Obviously, it comes through. That was great. Next up is your musical number. You'll love it. Ready? Clint is playing all three of these animals, by the way. <laughs> you got the turn in there. You got that was the special <laughs> one. Nico, did you do these environments? I did actually. Yeah, they're wow. really nice. Thanks. But guys, it's not about my environments. It's about Clint's this acting. Is, I'm just setting the stage for the star to shine. This is yeah. so above and see. beyond what I even thought. <laughs> wow. We got another one for There's you. There's another one? This is the, the, the sad one, so the, I... I remember this scene. What you described earlier as the... Well, you just see. That's actually your voice. That's my voice? Yeah. See, covered in moss? <laughs> All the mane. <laughs> it's still kind of sad. Yeah. Somebody help! Anybody! 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 Oh man. Hire this man. It's pretty incredible. Like, you can see, like, Clint's actual motion. Like, yeah. that is actually. Actually, actually, Clint's motion capture. I did not manipulate it or reanimate him or do anything. I like the mangy mane. The, the mane doesn't look so good. There's too much hair for this to render in time, so I think cut the hairs in half and it looks kind of weird. You are such a diverse and dramatic character actor. I try. I you know, give it my all. That's what we spent all week working on. <laughs> I, well, I let's give it up. Very I'm Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very impressed. For how janky like Just Mufasa or whatever his name is looks here, yeah. Simba actually doesn't look that bad. It still is really crappy, but cinematic. So wow. cinematic. So cinematic, dude. I I'm gonna do a bit more work um, on my meerkat and focus on that because I think that's like that one felt right to me. So if you're one of the 45% of people out there who aren't subscribed to this channel, I mean, wow. 
make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have a video coming out next week where we're actually uh, lighting Clint on fire, finally. So it was a crazy week making this, and thank you for watching and joining us on that process. I guess we'll leave you with the final product here. Enjoy.